Hey guys, what's going on today? We're gonna to continue our series here for getting the trailer ready for winter. Now, I am going out of order a little bit. This is going to partially be filmed today and then finished another day. I need to go ahead and mount the other two legend cabinets onto the wall. Reason being is I used to have a bunch of stuff in this one, and now that I have turned it into a battery box and inverter storage box, there will be a couple other things in there. Um, I need room to get some of this other stuff up and off the floor. Uh, this will, maybe you guys will think the spacing is quite weird here, but if we come over here, I'm actually going to put the box, why is that giving a black line? One sec. Okay. No, that did not fix it. Okay, I'm actually going to be putting the cabinet from this stud on this one attach here and then it will probably finish in that area now it might look funny because it's not centered in this panel but there's a very good reason for that it might not look aesthetically pleasing but if we look at the ground here okay we got a snowmobile tie down here and if we come up to where this cabinet's sitting we have another snowmobile tie down there now these cabinets what i'm looking to do is get them in the center of the snowmobiles where they're going to sit on the floor and then that way when you reach down strap snowmobile you're not going to stand back up and smash your head off the cabinet i've done it off the front cabinet a couple times and it hurts okay so we are going to take aesthetics out of the picture here a little bit and i'm going to mount these not center to the wall or the panel sorry so you can see one panel starts here and ends right there okay but the cabinet's actually going to end about here and overlap the line roughly to about there one other thing if you guys are doing this yourself as well this by no means is a tutorial we're just taking you along for the journey you see these eight pointed they almost look like Torx bits, but they're not. They have eight points for, uh, I don't know if it's just Legend that uses them, but they're trailer screws, okay? If you run into that and you need to remove them, they do not sell an eight-pointed Torx, at least that I'm aware of. A red Robertson bit works perfectly. Okay, so take this guy here. You can see we got a red Robinson bit. It's a square. I'm just going to see right here. See, it slots right in there and it removes it. Okay, so if you guys ever run into that, that is the solution right there. I think maybe they're supposed to take red Robbie bits, but there could be an eight pointed bit that I'm not aware of. Red Robbie just works perfect for this use case. Okay, I'm gonna set the GoPro up on a tripod here and we will. Just get some footage of setting these cabinets up. Bear with me, I am doing it by myself today. So we'll do our best. Am I gonna measure and mark everything? Not particularly, I'm just gonna eyeball it and see how good we do. So I just tried that a couple times there and it turns out that this little piece of trim is actually holding the box out and I cannot hit that stud. So I think honestly what I'm going to do here is just butt into it and I am going to come back after and caulk the sides of the, of the box. So I think I'm actually just going to butt into it and then see what that looks like. If it looks terrible, then I will bend that piece of J trim out. I don't want to start with bending because then I might nick and damage the wires and I got wires to repair.
Okay, so perfect right here. We can see we tightened up the gap a little bit. Up through the front, we tightened up the gap a little bit. I ended up putting five screws on the back. One, two, three, four, five. And then two up top. There and up there on each edge. Now I shouldn't have to move this cabinet anymore. Shouldn't have to move this cabinet too much anymore. And I will be able to put a couple things like the snowmobile helmets and a couple of the little tool kits that live in this trailer. I can be able to put them back up and in storage. So that should be okay. Now if we look here in relation to the mount and then I stand up, okay, I have a full arm's length. So I shouldn't hit my head on that. And over here, okay, cabinet, spare tire, and the mount is right there. So I should not hit my head on that. I'd be more likely to hit it on the tire, but I don't think that's gonna happen. It's very, very close to the wall. So we're gonna do that same thing again, but just over here this time, I will have to move the summit probably because I don't think I want to reach over it and do it. We'll see, I haven't decided yet. We got our third cabinet here. And if we look at the mounts here, I just popped the summit out of the way. We can see one up roughly. So we're gonna, it's not quite gonna match the other, the first, ca or the, the cabinet we just have put, installed in this video. Cause we can see where the, where the strap is. We don't really want to be in line on the same side. So we're actually going to use this panel right here. I already popped the screws out. And I'm actually going to overlap on this side. I'm going to run right on the edge on the left this time. Now what that's going to do, it's not going to match that cabinet perfectly. But it's going to stop us from smashing our heads when we strap the sleds down. So the plan being that we're going to hit this stud this stud and that stud same thing i'm gonna set the gopro up again And we're just going to push the cabinet up and get two screws in the roof. Now I am going to have to take some time here. I'm going to cut the trim back out that goes back up in here. Okay. Now cut a piece of trim to go in this section. And I will have to cut a piece of trim that goes here. I do have to notch it a little bit for the spare tire as well. Since it did not come with the trailer, I have put this in recently as well. So that should give lots of room if we stand right here. Look at the tie down points, go straight up. Cabinets are in between. Again, right here by the nice summit. Okay, two tie down points cabinet up there and a cabinet back here so that should help us avoid smashing our heads now these cabinets are actually kind of cool right here we got some room for some coat hangers if you want if you need to dry something up out 
I am going to have some heating ducts running along the wall here. And I do think I am going to put some coat hooks here if I want to take my jacket off or one of the boys wants to take their jacket off, we can hang it on the trailer wall. Temporarily, maybe I'll have the heat ducts, maybe I'll have the heat pipes have little exits right there to warm our gear while we're relaxing. If we're stopped at the trailer or doing something or before we ride, we can preheat our gear on those really cold days. So that is a project for another video though. So if you want to see that, don't be afraid to get subscribed because we have plenty of content coming this summer and this winter. Hey guys, welcome back. In the future a little bit here, uh, I do have all three cabinets mounted now, and we have come around and siliconed all of these cabinets on. Okay, just to clean them up, make it nice and clean. Got a power bar, here's a little bit of a teaser here. This is recorded, I just haven't edited this video yet, so this batter box in order is coming. Um, over here, there was that one battery box, or the, sorry, the one storage cabinet I installed here, and it had the J trim on the back there. Um, when I put it up, there was a little gap here. Now that I've put some caulking in there, it is covered that up for the most part. You know, do your best, caulk the rest, okay? And over here too, we had the same similar gap. And now that is complete. So all three of these cabinets are done and installed and good to go. So what else do we have going on for the trailer coming up in the future? I still have a diesel heater I have to install in here. Uh, and we have the inverter installation, but that is done. I'll just give you guys another little look here. We got a battery box here, it needs to be finished yet. Batteries are not actually secured. Okay, they're just sitting there and we have a nice inverter on the wall here. This inverter doubles as a charger. And we do have some shore power that can plug in and act as a pass through and charge the batteries at the same time. So that will be coming up in a future video. But for now, we have our helmet cabinets installed. Thanks for watching guys. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you want to see more coming up in the future, get subscribed because we will have much more content coming.